All right, man, so here we go. Do I reassure her or pull back a little bit? All right, this is a long one, guys, so... But you'll like the ending, okay? So, I've been dating this girl for under two months. She made it pretty clear from the jump she wasn't interested in any serious relationships because of her studies and her past relationship trauma. Okay, so for you guys, not necessarily you, but for you guys, remember, um, if she doesn't want anything serious, let her be. For the past, let her be as in let her come to you 100% of the time. For the past month, we've spent every weekend together and it's become evident that we are both catching and caught feelings. From my perspective, we have tons of chemistry and our personalities complement each other very well. Not to mention we can't keep our hands off each other. Yeah, it's a new, it's a new relationship, honeymoon phase. She's very mature, easygoing, she can take jokes. She always pays her half of her dates. She's even paid for my fair share a couple times. Okay, I'm going to skip the next one. That's TMI. <laughs> Last weekend, I expressed to her that I liked her, and she reciprocated that I could tell she was struggling to fully op open up. Okay, so she's conflicted. This weekend, she told me, okay, so right there, you expressed that you liked her. Okay, so when a woman tells you that she's not interested in anything serious, you do not bring up relationship labels. You don't say, hey, I really like you, what are we, or anything like that. You just let her come to you. Just say, you hang out and have a good time. And over time, she will come to you. She will come to you and more, she'll want more and more of your time and attention. She'll fall in love with you and then she'll want to say at some point, where is this going? Um, this weekend, she told me about her concern. Uh-oh. She said I was becoming a major distraction to her. She was worried about how she's going to fit me into her life. Okay, she tells you this right after you express that, right? So she's pushing, she's pumping the brakes. And this is what happens. That's why you don't bring up relationship labels because she feels the pressure to make something happen. And she doesn't know. She's conflicted. She's got her, she's got her, uh, I asked how I'm becoming a distraction when we only spend the weekends together and we don't really talk throughout the week. Great. That's how it's supposed to be. The romance happens in person. You don't really need to be talking and texting on the phone all week. Just hang out and have fun. You don't really need the phone. If you can avoid talking on the phone at all, that's what you want to do. She replied that I was a distraction in her mind. Hmm. Re living rent free in her mind. You can't, you can't, be any better than that and that it was i was on her mind enough for it to become a problem so it's good that you're not talking and texting to her all week because if she's um if she's into her studies and she wants to okay she's i'm getting ahead okay she said to me she wasn't used to seeing someone so often as she usually cuts things off before it gets too serious usually because guys get too needy is usually what happens she wants to take things down a notch and see each other I don't know, like every second weekend were her exact words and you put a laugh face there. So, okay, so you kind of see what's going on here. I just reply, I don't mind. Just let me know when you want to see me. Perfect response. That's how you do it. You weren't like, oh, I'm so, oh, that makes me so sad. Uh, no, you're like, ah, whatever. Come and go as you please. That's how you do it, guys. Take note. She expressed to me before that she would probably, properly date someone that she knew was right for her and that she could take back to her family. Her instant impression of me was that I was a fuckboy and her ex was emotionally and physically abusive to her. So her trust for guys is very low. Okay, so she's learning and she was like, I want a guy for a good time and all stuff. I have quite strong feelings for her and I'm pretty sure she feels the same way. So I'm torn between telling her how I feel. Every time I've opened up about something, she's opened up to me even more. Or do I give her the space she asked for and allow her to come to me when she wants to see me? I'm more inclined to go with the second option. But I'm worried she might be telling me to back off because she's scared of commitment. No. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about her commitment. I think you're doing the right thing. And I think you need to keep going. Follow the path. Do what you need to do. Don't ask her. Don't leave the relationship. She's already telling you. You already opened up to her and she's pulling back. That tells you, oh, she opens up and then she opens up to you. You know, opening up is okay. But the thing is, is, when you open up, there can be expectations. And that's what you need to not fall into the trap of. And that's why I usually tell guys, let her bring up the relationship labels. Because having expectations is what ruins it. That's what's ruining it. So for you, she's having a good time. She's thinking about you all the time. She's falling in love with you. You're doing all the things right. You're only seeing her on the weekends. You're not chatting with her all the time on the phone. You're letting her come to you in her own time. And you slipped up a little bit and you said, hey, I really like you. You should have said, let her do it first. It's obvious. She doesn't want a commitment. She wants to go and do her studies. But she will come to you and she will stick around and she'll want you more and more over time. Yeah, you are becoming a distraction in her mind. But if you say, well, and this is the test. 
If you say, well, and your response is perfect. I, you said, I don't mind. Just let me know when you want to see me. Great. You got other things going on. The sexy time and the good times together and the no, no expectations and the letting things happen progressively naturally and letting her come to you in her own time is working for you. Don't fuck it up by trying to lock her down because you feel strongly for her. You have to gauge where she's at and match how you behave where she's at emotionally. If you like, because guys, guys will go way high in the attraction level and she'll be down here. But over time, as you can see here, she's going up and he's staying here. And she needs to get to where he's at. And when she gets over, she's going to say, where are we? And he'll say, we've always been together. You know, we're together. Obviously, we're together. And she'll be like, oh, that's such a relief. I was so afraid that, you know, you didn't want to, you know, I said I didn't want a commitment. And I was afraid that you weren't really fully on board and all these things. And she'll say all this stuff. And then you'll be revealed. That's why you match your behavior on where she's at. You may be feeling that you super like her, but you got to maintain that emotional self-control. It is critical. And this is a great example of this. You're doing everything right, but you slipped up once. Hey, I really like you. What's going on? And then last weekend, you expressed that you liked her, which was the last time you saw her, and you don't talk to her in a week. Then this weekend, she's like, maybe we should hold off a bit, right? And you're getting confused. No, just look at the facts. Look at the, look at the macros here. The macros are... You try to put a relationship label on it or hinted at it and she pulled back because she already said she doesn't want anything serious. But I guarantee you, you let this go on for another three, four weeks or more, she's going to be acting. She's already acting like she's your girlfriend. Just keep doing what you've been doing. Don't change the formula. It never changes. It's always the same. You keep doing this all the way through marriage. You don't need to have any label. You just hang out, have fun. Have some sexy times and just let her come and go as she pleases in her own time. Be completely non-needy about it and it's fine. And you know, you're just assuming that she's coming to you because she will. That's the formula. Anyways, guys, that's it. So don't do it. Don't make her your girlfriend. Let her make you 